Hello, my name is Dr. Louis Leben. I'm a professor of nutrition and I'm an advocate and supporter of vitamin D awareness uh, because of its benefits in prevention and treatment of several diseases. My interest in vitamin D or sunshine vitamin comes from two reasons. Uh, the first reason is being a university a professor and a researcher. Uh, since I have published uh, many articles about uh, vitamin D. Also, uh, my interest comes from personal experience uh, as I have used vitamin D and I recommended uh, its administration for family members and friends on many uh, occasions. Uh, I will uh, tell you about my personal experience with uh, vitamin D after we talk a little bit about this uh, great uh, vitamin. Uh, I would like to take a few moments to talk about some facts uh, that you might already know about this vitamin, uh, such as uh, uh, benefits, uh, forms, uh, requirements, and sources. Uh, as we know, uh, vitamin D is different from other es essential vitamins because our own bodies can manufacture it through sunlight exposure. Uh, if you uh, can expose a, a unprotected uh, body <coughs> for two, two sessions, uh, 15 minutes each a week, you can get your own requirements from this uh, vitamin. Otherwise, you have to secure it through food or supplements. The, the active uh, form of vitamin D is uh, D3 or calcitriol or 125-dihydroxycholecalciferol. The main uh, function of vitamin D is to regulate absorption of calcium and phosphorus uh, in our bones and aid in cell-to-cell -cell communication throughout the body. Let me, uh, let me answer a question about who is at risk of vitamin D deficiency. Uh, if you live far from the equator, your sunlight exposure will be less uh, during many months of the year, uh, and you make less uh, vitamin D. Uh, people with uh, dark skin, people wearing sunscreen all the time, uh, people cover their bodies for religious or cultural reasons, all of them might be vitamin D deficient. Also, uh, bedridden patients in hospitals for a long time, elderly people, especially females. Uh, I published uh, a paper a uh, couple months ago, and I found out that 93% uh, of the females over 65 are uh, vitamin D deficient comparing to 87% of males over 65. So the majority of elderly uh, population uh, uh, is uh, vitamin D deficient. Also, we know that uh, breastfed uh, infants are vitamin D deficient uh, unless we uh, start giving them formulas uh, fortified with vitamin uh, D. Uh, why do we need vitamin D for? Uh, vitamin D is a magnificent vitamin and can uh, prevent and treat so many diseases uh, because it aids the immune system and uh, thus we can uh, treat and pre prevent so many diseases like multiple sclerosis, also uh, uh, can maintain cognitive functions for Alzheimer's uh, patients, and also, uh, according to a study published in uh, the Medical College of Georgia in the United States, vitamin D uh, maintain healthy body weight. Also, can reduce the um, uh, frequency and severity of asthma, 
uh, also can prevent uh, rheumatoid arthritis in women and helps in uh, tuberculosis recovery. Uh, also, a study uh, showed that vitamin D can reduce uh, the risk of uh, heart attack uh, uh, and early death uh, rates. With regard to vitamin D and uh, cancer, I have to talk a little bit about my uh, uh, personal experience as I was diagnosed with non-Hodgkin's lymphoma. After uh, I received radiotherapy, I started to get uh, uh, those doses of vitamin D. I uh, took around 600,000 uh, international units and uh, uh, my lab test improved dramatically and now I'm free of uh, this uh, type of, of, of cancer. Uh, the also, a very important function for vitamin D is uh, to uh, prevent and treat uh, diabetes, especially type 2 diabetes. And also, I, am, uh, I was diagnosed with uh, diabetes type 2. And because of the dose I took uh, when I had uh, non-Hodgkin's lymphoma, my fasting uh, blood glucose Im improved uh, uh, in very good rate. Uh, now, uh, my fasting uh, blood glucose ranges from uh, 85 to 110 maximum, and the postprandial uh, blood glucose uh, after two hours is around 130. So, vitamin D is very, very good uh, item to, uh, to get if you have diabetes type uh, 2. Uh, with regard to sources, only a few uh, foods in nature contain uh, vitamin D, but the best uh, sources are the flesh of fatty fish, such as salmon, tuna, or mackerel. Uh, also, uh, we can find the vitamin D in uh, cheese, uh, egg yolk. Uh, only one vegetable is considered a vitamin D source, which is a mushroom, and especially shiitake mushroom is a good source of vitamin D. Uh, I hope I, I uh, gave you a very uh, light uh, picture about vitamin D, uh, and thank you very much.